this is a list of my top five items to not bring on the Camino de Santiago if you want to travel light. Uh, a lot of people bring um, a very heavy backpack and load it full of stuff. It weighs 20 to 30 pounds. And what happens is about three days in, they're tearing it all apart and looking for a box to put it all in and ship it somewhere, uh, somewhere else so they don't have to carry it anymore. So do yourself a favor. Um, don't pack it in the first place. So these are the top five items to lose if you want to travel light. Item number one is a large backpack. That's sort of uh, any any large container you're going to want to fill it. That's the tendency. So uh, don't bring a 50 or 60 liter backpack. You don't need anything that big. If you have that much space, your temptation is going to be to just stick that one more item in. And um, and I suggest you don't do that. Keep the pack under 40 liters, something 30 to 38 liters. Um, I've done it with um, with I, we did it with a 38 liter pack the last time. Didn't really need that much space. I'm doing it with a 33 liter this time, and uh, even that's too much space. My very first Camino, I did it with a 20 liter day pack. I didn't have anything else. I didn't have any other boxes or suitcases I was shipping. Uh, all I had in it was uh, all I had was just my 20 liter pack uh, with a change of clothes. Had a silk sleeping bag liner, a little windbreaker jacket, um, <clears throat> some very lightweight items, and it weighed about. When I put it on the scale at the pilgrim's office, it weighed under five pounds. It was like four and a half pounds. Um, so about two kilos, a little over two kilos. Um, I haven't been able to get down to that weight ever since. The, they've changed the Camino a bit. Not every albergue supplies blankets anymore. So it's if the weather's cold, it's hard to get away with just a silk liner. You could probably do it. Just wear your clothes to bed. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at maybe doing that this time. So... Uh, large backpack, get rid of it, get something 38 liters or less. Uh, number two item, uh, cell phone charging brick. Uh, cell phone charging bricks um, seem like they would be a necessity if you're imagining you're going to be in the middle of nowhere and you need to have your phone constantly charged. There's a couple ways around that. First of all, the charging brick is very heavy for what you're getting out of it. It's they, um, you know, it is a brick. It literally weighs a ton for, for the size. So, um, what you're, what you're trying to accomplish there is to keep your phone charged and there's plenty of cafes with outlets next to the tables. You can plug in anytime you want. Um, one way I get around needing to charge all the time is I leave my phone on airplane mode. There's really no one you need to talk to out there. In fact, your goal should be to turn your phone off completely. I leave mine in airplane mode because I take a lot of pictures and video, um, and you don't need, um, you don't need a signal for any of that. So, uh, so your camera will work all day long on your phone if you leave it on airplane mode. And then when you do hit the cafes, you hit you hit towns and cafes every few miles, every five miles or so, um, and you can sit down and plug in and top it off, and it's it's more than fine. And then um, and even if it went completely dead, who really cares? Uh, you know, you got hundreds of other pilgrims around. If if there's any kind of emergency, um, somebody's there to help you out. And um, so it's just not necessary. So leave the charging brick at home. And, um, you know, I guess there's people if you had a laptop or something where equipment that you absolutely had to keep it charged, then bring it. But then, you know, your pack's going to be a little bit heavier. So item number three, um, evening dress clothes. You don't really need them. Um, there's like three towns, four towns where you might consider putting on something a little nicer. Um, you know, one would be Pamplona. Uh, one would be maybe Burgos, maybe Lagrano, though, not really. Uh, Burgos, maybe Leon, and then, and then in uh, Santiago. Um, these are places that uh, have either um, <coughs> nice restaurants or cathedral, um, someplace where you feel like you might want to dress up, but um, it's really not necessary. Nobody else is dressed up. There's very few pilgrims that are actually bringing dress clothes. Um, so what most people are wearing is they're just wearing their hiking pants. And if you have some kind of long sleeve shirt, even this, this is just a smart wool shirt. And um, this this is fine for, for uh, wearing in any restaurant along the Camino. 
something like this, you know, that's got multiple purposes. You just want to limit the number of items that you're bringing that have single use purpose, like a single set of evening clothes, and especially don't bring dress shoes. There's, you're going to be walking 12 to 15 miles a day. The last thing you want to do is squeeze your feet into some nice pair of dress shoes. You're going to basically be wearing sandals or flip flops in the evenings and um, and letting your feet recover from you know from walking those distances so you can leave the dress clothes at home and that'll lighten up your pack by a couple of pounds uh, item number four heavy sleeping bag <clears throat> um, i'm excluding the winter time if you if you are going in the winter time november through march um, that's a whole different camino and and this is not for that but if you're going in april through um you know through october then you really don't need the heavy sleeping bag. You don't need a 40 degree bag uh, or a 30 degree bag. What you really need, the most you're gonna really need is a 55 degree bag, which is sometimes they call it a travel bag. It's um, basically the lightest weight sleeping bag you can find. You want it to be less than a pound and you can actually get away with just a sleeping bag liner in most cases. If you're going May through September, you, you only need a sleeping bag liner. And the reason is, you're, you're going to be sleeping in, in these uh, albergues, uh, dorms, basically, and there might be 20 other bodies in the room, uh, and there might only be one or two windows. There's not a lot of ventilation in the rooms, and it thro that everybody throws off a lot of body heat, and so the rooms are fairly warm. Uh, it's rare that there's a room that's so cold that, that, you, know, that you need much more, and if, and, if, and if you are cold, you can always wear your jacket to bed, um, you know, your windbreaker or your long sleeve shirt. Generally speaking, that's going to be more than enough um, for most Caminos. And it used to be that, that albergues always supplied blankets. They're sort of communal blankets, if you're okay with that. Um, I've used them in the past. I used it on my first Camino. Um, but uh, I only needed it like one, uh, once or twice, uh, you know, just because a, a cold front came in and it just happened to be a, an albergue that had a drafty room. Uh, that's that's kind of rare to have that, but uh, find yourself a nice lightweight uh, sleeping bag or sleeping bag liner. Uh, they sell fleece liners. I think I have one on my packing list um, on Amazon for like fifteen fifteen dollars. Uh, pretty cheap. They're they're just basically a sleeping bag made out of fleece material, and it's more than enough uh, for for the, these purposes. And you'll save you know you'll save a pound there. Um, the uh, number five item is the water reservoir in your backpack. I know a lot of people love these things. They fill them up and, and uh, love to have that, uh, you know, straw to uh, have their water there. But uh, water weighs a lot and you don't need that much. There's water fountains every few miles. Um, you can drink as much water as you want while you're standing there and then you can top off your bottle um, and then you'll have more than enough water to get you to the next uh, uh, fountain or next town. Uh, next cafe. There's plenty of water everywhere on the cafe or, or on the uh, Camino. And um, so you just don't need two liters of water. Those, those reservoirs um, are, are usually two liters. And if you fill them up, water weighs uh, per liter 2.2 pounds. I believe that's 2.2 pounds. And so if you're filling up a two liter uh, reservoir in your backpack, that's four and a half pounds that you're carrying that you really don't need. Um, Personally, all I carry is a 500 milliliter bottle, uh, usually a little Perrier bottle, or uh, they sell in um, in uh, Saint Jean Pied de Port. You can go to the the grocery store and you can get a little 500 milliliter bottle of Perrier or San Pellegrino. And I like those tear teardrop shaped bottles because they have all the weight in the bottom. They don't. They uh, some of the other bottles tend to stick up out of the side pocket on your backpack and can fall out if you sort of bend over to tie your shoe or something like that. So I like the Perrier bottles, things with a teardrop shape so that they sit nice and tight down deep in my, in the pocket. And, um, and really I just drink as much water as I need while I'm standing at the fountains. And, um, and then I top off the bottle and I've never had any, any issues whatsoever, uh, doing it that way. So that saves me a, a bunch of weight. Um, if you get it down to where your backpack, for instance, um, my uh, current backpack is an Osprey Talon 33 liter, and it weighs one kilo, 2.2 pounds. And um, compared to the 38 liter Osprey Kestrel at four pounds, um, there's they're saving almost almost two pounds right there. 
Uh, a cell phone charging brick weighs at least like what a pound. Um, evening dress clothes, a couple of pounds, heavy sleeping bag, a couple of pounds, uh, water reservoir, four and a half pounds. There's basically 10 pounds of stuff you can lose right there. So if you're carrying a 20 pound pack, go through it, get rid of a lot of that stuff. You don't need it. Um, travel light, bring, bring very lightweight items like, uh, the outdoor research hoodie shirts are great. Uh, they weigh about four ounces, a uh, shirt like this smart wool shirt weighs about seven ounces. So you can cut that weight in half. Um, and uh, just limit the number of items that you bring. So uh, you don't need a lot of outfits. You're going to wear the same thing every day. It's pretty much like you're like you do at home. When you get home from a day at work, the first thing you might do is put on your comfortable clothes. Uh, it's going to be the same thing on the Camino. You're basically your job is to be walking. And when you're done walking, you're going to put on your comfortable clothes. You're going to sit down and relax, probably be wearing flip flops or sandals. And you're going to sit in a restaurant and drink beer or wine all evening. And, and then you're going to go to bed and you're going to get up in the morning and do it, do it all over again. So that's it. That's, that's how I keep my pack light by eliminating those heavy items. And hopefully this helps.